Okay, hi. We had a question about material list and then and on uh, home talk and I read it and I and I I read the question, I went, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know how to the answer to that. So I took a look. So let's uh, take an exterior wall and just draw a, a box. Anyway, I figured it out and I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, I'm going to go over here to Tools, uh, uh, Materials List, Calculate All Floors, and we'll go down here to, where's uh, Wallboard? There it is, Wallboard. And we got 4 by 8 by half inch, that's on wall, and 4 by 8, 5 inch, that's on the ceilings. And that's a usual convention. So, how are you going to change that? I'm going to close this and not save it. No, thank you. Now, what I figured out was you open a camera view and just look at the inside of your model. And you use this Materials Adjustment Definition Tool. It's a tricolor. You can see the tooltip. It says, when I put my cursor on it, Adjust Material Definition. Left click. Then we'll click on the drywall on the wall. Okay? And... Uh, I suggest you, you guys, you know, look at these dialogues and, when, and the parts that you don't understand, look them up as I, in my How to Study video. I'm not going to uh, talk about that again. But let's look at this. See, here's a materials definition general for drywall on the wall, because I clicked on the wall, and it's set up for 48 by 96. And so if you want it by 4 by 10, we'll change it to 4 by 10. Now, nothing's going to change in appearance. You know, it's still going to paint those 4 by 10 sheets across the wall, and you can't really see the seams in them and so forth because they've all been taped and floated, and they're nice and smooth. So <clears throat> that's the key, your material definition. And then I changed the nature of that material because I adjusted the definition. The, adjusted the definition of the material. Now I'll go back, I'll close this camera view, and let's go back to Tools, Materials List, Calculate from All Floors. We'll go down to Wallboard, and what do you know? There it is, 4 by 10 by half inch. So that's how you do that. And uh, if you wanted 4 by 8 by 5 eighths, and you, you would do the same thing. Let's, let's just do that, just for to nail, make this crystal clear. I'm not going to save that materials list. We'll, again, we'll go back to the camera view. This time I'm going to use uh, the Adjust Materials Definition Tool on the ceiling. And we'll change this to uh, <clears throat> 4 from... Oh, wait a minute. That's grayed out. Whoops. <laughs> I just shot... Oh, I see. It's for... That's for the colored bone. My bad. Let's see. Well, how can we do that then? No, uh, I use this delete surface tool to delete. Okay, let me take a different tack then. Let me just open the dialog box for this room. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have figured this out beforehand, but maybe this will help some of you guys. Let's see. Let's go to ceiling finish. And it says 5 eighths. No, I don't see any way to get to that. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to Edit, uh, Default Settings, Materials. Maybe I can get to it from that. See if there's a ceiling setting in here. Da, 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 da. I don't see ceilings, do you? I don't either. Well, okay, I fixed the wall thing. <laughs> I figured that out. <clears throat> and I thought I was going to be Mr. Smarty Pants and, and do this, the 5 eighths as well. There's probably a way to do it. I just haven't figured it out. The wall thing I figured out, because that's what was specifically asked for. Well, I can't get through the materials there. Let's see if there's a... Uh, let me see if I... I'm going to spend a moment here. <clears throat> materials. Plan materials. Let's find drywall. Now, there's just one setting for drywall in this dialog. Let's click on edit and see what can be done. No, that's the 48. That's the one I changed earlier, half inch. 
well, fiddle diddle. Oh, I know. <laughs> it just came to me. I'm going to open the dialog box. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's see, where is there's walls? I, I'm sorry, I had an idea. Uh, we'll go to structure tab, ceiling finish again. Finish the Well, I'm just having a brain fart here. Uh, there's bound to be a way to do it. <coughs> Walls. It's no ceiling setting. And the ceiling setting over here, you can just, you just assign the thickness. You can't. No way to assign the material. Oh, I, I maybe I, let's go over, let's try this tack. We'll try the material painter. Sorry about this, guys, but I'd make it up as I go along. Let's find drywall. Doy. Where's drywall? I forget what category that's under. Fabric and wall coverings? I don't think so. Yeah. Some of you are sitting there, it's over there, stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I know it's somewhere. Ah, oh, wallboard. There it is. Uh, see, there's just one drywall. Well, let's try it. Okay, I've got that. I'm going to... Yeah, I just want to paint it under the ceiling, so I'm going to use component mode. Okay. Now we'll use the material adjustment tool. Here we go. Okay. Well, wait a minute. I'm not quite sure. Let's just go one two zero. Oh, change that to five eights. Now it's just on the ceiling. Let's see if it. Okay, it's still half inch on the walls. And five eights on the ceiling. Okay. Sorry about that. I have sometimes I have to make up this stuff as I go along. Uh, now where's uh, material list? All floors, wall board. Okay, now we got four by ten by five eight, four by ten by. Okay, so it's something that you can control, and uh, the adjust materials tool, and a little creative thinking will get you there. And thank you for your kind attention.